Hello everyone, this is Calarius Valos Moonstone again. This is my second video here on YouTube. I'm here making these videos because I want to show the world that magic really exists. Magic is for everyone, not just the select few, not just for those of special bloodlines. Yeah, I might be from a special bloodline that is easier to perform magic, but anyone can learn it through hard work and dedication. In my last video, I stated that I was going to show the world my grimoires. Well, some people might not know what a grimoire is. Well, let me explain. The word grimoire is a French word meaning grammar, to write, to scribe. Um, so, magic users write down their spells in spell books, grimoires. So, I have a grimoire here that I started back in 2009, and I love it. It's a dragon scale grimoire. It has nice wrapping so the pages won't get all messed up and stuff. So I'm going to start explaining the magic that's inside of here. This is my first one. I have another one as well, but it's not done. But there is a lot, a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to show the world. I'm doing this because, once again, magic is for everyone, not just a select few. I have positive magic in here and dark magic in here. I have potions to heal, and I also have poisons that hurt. Do these spells, the negative ones, at your own peril. I haven't really performed any of these negative spells yet, but I wrote down the knowledge because knowledge is power. But if I have to someday do these spells, I will, because magic is real. Well, here we go. I'm going to read my grimoire to you guys. Let's get started, shall we? My very first spell was written in 418 of 09. Wow, that's long ago. Oh, by the way, I'm 33 years old, going to be 34 in my last uh, video. I didn't mention my age. So I've been doing this since I was 9 years old. So, long time. I write down spells in my grimoire through what type of magic they are, through the alignment they are. So I'll be saying white robe spells for white magic, black robe spells for no, for dark magic, and red robe spells for neutral magic. But usually I just go back and forth for, from white to red to keep myself in balance, keep myself, you know, neutral. Well, here's the first spell. This is blue magic, which is healing magic. So at the time I wrote down blue magic, uh, it's a help spell, it's to help you heal. Here we go. Get a blue candle, then smudge it with a vanilla incense. Light the candle, then smudge yourself or a person if you are doing the spell for them. If a person is not present, then get a pick of them, then say incantation below. Bless, you say the person's name, with magical help. So he or she can have wonderful help. When I say his or her name, you say the name, he or she will feel no more pain. So that person or animal can have fun in the rain. So would it be. That was one of my first, first spells in this grimoire. And uh, it worked. I cast it on several people. And they got healed. My second spell, the black rope spell, black magic, a lose a loved one spell. Lose the one you love a lot. Give them pain to make their soul burn hot. Bind their life in a knot. Kill them. Make their 
light erupt. So would it be. That is the incantation of the spell. Get a black candle, rub dragon's blood oil on it, get a pick or something from that person, then burn the pick or item over the candle, then say above incantation, do this curse on a full moon for full power effect. They will lose their loved one. This is a black robed spell, black and necromancy magic by Calarius. At the time, I was called, uh, I had different names, Vespa Silvermoon of the Red Robes, but now I'm Calarius Valos Moonstone. To cause death to someone's spell, get four black candles, rub dragon's blood oil on them, then get a white candle and rub dove's blood oil on it. Make a five pointed star with the candle with the white candle at the top point of the star, then write the person's name on the white candle. Then get a pick of them or something of theirs, light the candles and burn the pick or things of theirs over the white candle. Then say incantation below. Anubis, bringer of death, take away, you say the first person full name if you can, breath. Make them die. Make their friends and family cry. So would it be. Some of my spells are kind of silly, like this one. But it works. Magic is magic. White robe potion. Red magic, sex magic. By Calarius of the Red Robes. Get horny fast potion. Hey, sometimes you just can't get it up or you can't get wet down there and you gotta do what you gotta do. What you need is four ounces apple juice, four ounces grape juice, eight drops of pure vanilla extract, one tablespoon of chocolate syrup, and some cinnamon sticks. Four or five will do. Boil the cinnamon sticks in a pot of water, eight ounce will do. Then pour out four ounces of the cinnamon water out. Then mix all the stuff together in a large potion bottle, shake well for for one minute, then cool and fridge for three hours. Then you can drink and feel well off or nay for six, four to six hours. Have fun. P.S. Potion will last in a cool place like fridge for three to four days. <clears throat> this one is a white robe spell, red magic, sex magic, to, to stay in passion with your lover spell. What you need for the spell is four red long candles, cinnamon oil, vanilla oil, two cinnamon incense sticks, two vanilla incense sticks. What you do is rub two of the candles with cinnamon oil, then rub the other two with the vanilla one. Light the candles, put them in a circle formation, then light the incense sticks. Hold the light, hold them both in your right hand, smudge yourself with them, then say incantation below. Love, fuck, and suck me good. You're the best I know you could. So what it be? Wow. This one is a prosperity and good luck spell. Because everyone loves prosperity and good luck. What you need for the spell is a green candle of any kind will do. Cinnamon oil. A small amount of vanilla, any kind will do, seeds, oil, plant, etc. One anise seed or pod, some nutmeg seeds or one whole nut, parchment paper or flash paper for more magical fun. Rub the green candle with the cinnamon oil. Then write on the paper what kind of things do you or someone else want of prosperity and good luck. Then put the vanilla anise and the nutmeg into the middle of the paper, fold, fold or crumble up the paper. Then light the green candle and burn the paper with the things inside. Then say incantation below. Give me prosperity, give me luck. Or a person's name if you're doing it for someone else. 
till my life will not suck. Wealth and prosperity will come to pass. Good luck will be here at last. So more to see. A White Robes Minor Health Healing Potion by Calarius at the time, best spell Moonstone, yeah, 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 <laughs> of the Red Robes Adeptus Wizard. That's my rank and my cousin, which I'll explain later on. This was written in 720 of 09. The herbs needed for the potion are two whole nutmeg pods, two cinnamon sticks, two ounces dried spearmint leaves, and one, and if you want red food, food coloring or any kind, if you want to make it look like a role-playing RPG potion, it's usually red and it's for healing potions. Um, add some honey to it to make it more sweet if you want, if not, a little sugar. Boil a half a pot of water, put in herbs, boil for 10 minutes, then let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes, minutes more. Add food coloring if you want. Then say incantation below over the potion when done making it. Give me health, give me strength, be it for healing, for a good feeling. So what it be? Drink potion warm or cold, will last in the fridge up to three days. Potion will work for 24 hours. Have fun. Stay safe. Wizard Fry. <clears throat> this spell potion, what to say, is to help you uh, replenish your magic. When you're done doing a lot of magic, you get wore out. So this potion is to replenish your mana, your chi, your your prana, your just your magical energy. What you need for the potion is one star anise pod, two cinnamon sticks, two tablespoons of spearmint leaves dried, one tablespoon of caraway seeds. Add honey to make it sweet if you want. Add two or three drops of blue food coloring or any food coloring for that role playing. Once again, you know, food blue is for like mana potions and stuff, so in video games or RPG games. Um, bring the, the water to a boil for 10 minutes, then add some honey or sugar if you want. Don't, if you want to sweeten it. Let it sit for like five to 10 minutes, drink warm or cold. Will last in, in cold place like fridge for up to three days. Potion lasts 24 hours. Say incantation below before you finish making the potion. Restore my magic so my life will not be tragic. So I can do my spells so I can continue on with my tales. So what it be. This is a white robe cold and cough fever reducer potion. For the potion, use one inch ginger root, two cinnamon sticks, one ounce caraway seeds, one ounce thyme leaf, and one ounce peppermint leaf. Boil a half a pot of water, then add all the herbs, simmer for 10 to 15 minutes, then use a strainer to pour out the potion in another pot, then add some honey or sugar if you want, some sweetener to the potion. Say incantation below. Take the heat away from my head. Please hear what I said. Cold and cough is what I have. The pain will leave me here and now with this potion. Here's how. So what it be. Drink warm. That's some of them. I'll be doing more in a bit. Blessed be. Thank you very much. I've been looking forward to continue showing you my spells and potions and poisons and curses from my Grimoire. Thank you.